Hello, and uh, here we are with uh, Arnie on the uh, C64. Now, this was uh, a sort of budget game uh, from uh, the bud uh, from Zeppelin Games, um, and was one of the last games uh, to be programmed by uh, Chris Butler on the uh, C64. And uh, well, let's get started. Now, it is a budget game, so um, you know the graphics uh, are not brilliant, but but considering that the game's a single load, there's quite a lot. Uh, I mean, there's quite a lot here, actually. Uh, uh, and to sort of summarise the game, it's pretty much uh, a sort of a pseudo uh, isometric uh, commando, uh, which is a sort of a nice, nice ring to it. As soon as I Chris the uh, the commando conversion on the uh, 64, you can see he's reused a lot of code from uh, 720 degrees. Uh, you just have to look at the title screen and the and just 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 uh, the the way the graphics are, are drawn. I think just uh, realise that it's, it's a bit of a code reuse. But, uh, try and get this weapon if I can. Uh, as I said, it's it's not really a it's not a full isometric uh, game. Uh, you can't. You don't move behind any uh, bits of scenery. Uh, and the actual collision with the, the sort of the, the, the geometry uh, collision with the, the, the backgrounds isn't quite uh, isn't quite right. There's no music in the game, but there's some quite nice sound effects. Uh. Uh, and the action uh, just keeps on coming, which I think is the real, uh, the, the important thing. I think it's definitely the best feature of the game. I think it's just, 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 it's just relentless. Yeah, you can see that the collision isn't quite right. Uh, You can pick up some power ups, but uh, they, they don't last. Uh, <laughs> I'll have a quick uh, another game just to. Uh, I think he's reused the code from uh, Power Drift, I think, there for the high score table. Uh, I think this came out on. Uh, a cover tape on one of the magazines of the day, so I think pro probably everybody had this. And uh, uh, certainly, if you're a, a, a fan to the bitter end on the 64, uh, right to the the, the the last days, then you probably would have had this, I guess. If you're uh, one of the sort of fans who uh, sort of left early to go into the Amiga or whatever, uh, then. Uh, Chances are you may not have played this. Uh. The graphics are they're a bit. Um, they're only four color backgrounds, but uh, so, but they're, uh, they're still quite well drawn and they're quite quite somber uh, and gritty. Uh, it's sort of realistic. Uh. I'm not doing very well here, I'm a bit of practice. It's, it's quite, a, quite a tough little game actually, but uh, you can make uh, good progress though the more you play it. Uh, you just got to, uh, sometimes it pays not, not to rush quite as much as I am. Uh, I think there was a sequel as well, uh, uh, not not by Chris Butler though. Uh, I don't think it was quite as quite as good, but uh, I think as a budget game, this is uh, it's pretty pretty decent actually. Uh. 
it was good that, that, that we had uh, still had companies back in the day that you know did actually release the original games on budget, not not just uh, re-releases of older games. Uh, and Zeppelin was certainly uh, one of the better labels for that. Definitely, uh, normally had a, a reasonably high standard of a uh, of game. Yeah, this is one of these areas where you can see that you can't you can't you can't go behind that wall. You know, it's a it's, it's not true isometric. Uh, it doesn't actually let you go behind the wall. But yeah, it's, it's, it's decent enough. Uh, it's just it, likewise you can't go behind this building. But you sort of get used to it. Uh, Oops, walked into that. Okay, well that's all for this uh, video. Um, yeah, that's Arnie. Uh, it's a pretty decent little budget game actually. Uh, I'll give it uh, give it eight and a half out of ten. I think uh, it's, it's a pretty good shoot map. I think. And uh, that's all for this video.